Thank you all so much for being here. I'm Abby Anderson. I'm the executive director of the Congaree Vista Guild, and we are so excited to have you all here in the Vista with us this morning to celebrate this fabulous business that we have here in the Vista. Um, this is an incredible family, and they've been doing some really great things for a couple months, so we're excited to finally share it and experience their growth and really appreciate everything that they've done. So without further ado, here is Aisha Driggers from the City of Columbia Office of Business Opportunities. Thank you, Abby. So in addition to celebrating Tom's Creek, we want to thank you for joining us today to celebrate National Small Business Week. This work week serves as an opportunity to highlight our small business community and their efforts to create jobs, drive innovation, and create um, competitiveness. Helping small businesses grow has been and continues to be a top priority of the City of Columbia. I also want to acknowledge we have our SBA representatives here today. Somewhere. Yes, thank you for being here. And we thank them for their support of our Small Business Week activities this week. On Wednesday, we will have our 11th annual Small Business Week conference at the Embassy Suites off Greystone beginning at 9 a.m. And I welcome you all to um, join us there. Our, three, our theme this year is leveraging opportunities for growth and success. And we look forward to coordinating the celebration of all the wonderful accomplishments of our small business community. So let's get started with our councilman, Tyler Bailey. Well, good morning, everybody. Are y'all excited for Small Business Week? Are y'all? I am. I don't, I don't hear the excitement, but it's early I get it. It's Monday. So Small Business Week serves as an opportunity to highlight our small business community, the efforts to create 21st century jobs, drive innovation, and increase America's global competitiveness. We're excited to be joined by the Columbia Chamber, who's here, Richland County, Palmetto Citizens Federal Credit Union, and the owner of Tom's Creek Farmers Market Exchange. We continue to see rapid growth among our small business community, and we're always looking for opportunities to make pro the process easier to do business in, with the city. And I'm especially proud to say that this past year, 44% of all new businesses open in Columbia were women-owned, and 50% have been owned by minorities. So let's give a round of applause for that staff. At the city, we want to build on the human capital produced by our great higher learning institutions here. We also want to continue to help new entre entrepreneurs and seasoned business owners uh, do business here in the city. Small businesses are vital in the lifeblood of Columbia. And in celebration of Small Business Week, we also want to highlight a new initiative um, brought by the Columbia Empowerment Zone in partnership with Dominion Energy. The Columbia Empowerment Zone continues to work eagerly towards fulfilling the goals of Vision Columbia and the mission of the Columbia Empowerment Zone. And this new program is called the Brights Program, which is the Business Retrofit Incentives Through Energy Savings Program. What the Bright Program does is it will aid in reducing energy efficient retrofit costs for small businesses within the city of Columbia by providing a companion program with Dominion Energy uh, to provide more cost saving measures for small businesses. The Bright Program will reduce energy use and costs, help small business businesses manage their energy use to save money while offering a more pleasant environment for not only employees but guests visiting those businesses. So to learn more about this program, I re recommend that you reach out to the Columbia Empowerment Zone. We have Felicia Maloney, who's our director, who's here as well, so she'll pro probably be happy to answer any questions that y'all may have for afterwards. And we look forward at the City of Columbia to continuing to offer program and initiatives, cost-saving measures like the Bryce Program. And without further ado, I want to pass it back off to Ms. Driggers for a proclamation for uh, Tons Market. Thank you. So at the April 16th meeting, council approved a proclamation recognizing this week as Small Business Week. Um, and I'll just, at the, the City of Columbia and Columbia Chamber of Commerce recognize the value of small businesses within our community and their priceless contribution to our city. So in addition to that, we have a proclamation for Tom's Creek. So if the Tom's Creek staff wants to come receive this proclamation.
And I'll just read this. It's whereas Tom's Creek Farmers Market Exchange was established in September 2023 and provides artisan delicatessen, handmade breads, and fresh produce to customers in the downtown Columbia area. And whereas the market was a creation from Tom's Creek Family Farms, a woman-owned business established in 2018 by Haddis Hickman and her daughters, and whereas the market provides fresh farm-to-table products that come from Tom's Creek Family Farms, located in Hopkins, South Carolina, and other local businesses, and whereas the market is devoted to ecological farming and is keen on healthy farming and healthy food practices, by protecting soil, water, and climate for future farming. And whereas the market sells their products at their Lady Street location and at the Toms Creek Family Farms to provide produce directly to customers on the farm and in downtown Columbia. And whereas the City of Columbia recognizes Toms Creek Farmers Market Exchange as a 2024 Business Spotlight honoree and congratulates them on their future service and success. Now, therefore, I, Daniel J. Rickman, Mayor of the City of Columbia, South Carolina, along with my fellow members of Columbia City Council, do hereby proclaim that this city honors and recognizes Tom's Creek Farmers Market Exchange. So at this time, we will hear from Councilman Derek Pugh. Good morning, everyone. Today is a beautiful day to celebrate small business. Can we get a round of applause for Small Business Week? My name is Derek Pugh, and I'm the Vice Chair of the Richmond County Council, and I also chair the Office of Small Business Ad Hoc Committee. We are dedicated to making sure that we support all small businesses in Richland County and, on, on and abroad. As, chair, as vice chair of the Office of Small Business, it's important for us to make sure that we let folks know about the resources that we have at Richland County through our Economic Development Office and our Office of Small Business. We have our director, Pam Green, here. At last check, Richland County has 4,200 small business in operation right here in Richland County. That's a 26% increase from our prior years. Small businesses are the backbone to our community and it's important that we understand how important it is for us to support them. We are built off community mindedness and we also are built off generational wealth. This is a shining example of exactly what small businesses look like in Columbia, South Carolina. So it's safe to say not only is our city and our county thriving, but we're growing. And we're going to make sure at Richland County that we support our growing businesses by making sure that we continue to provide opportunities for our small businesses. Thank you, and I'm happy to be here to celebrate the the uh, office of, I mean, excuse me, the Small Business Week. Thank you. Yes. I'm sorry, I almost forgot. <laughs> Risen County also wants to make sure that we recognize the National Small Business Week by providing a proclamation, a resolution, which means that all 11 council members saw fit to make sure that we support and we recognize Small Business Week. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. How's everybody? Good. Hey, I'm Carl Blackstone with the Columbia Chamber, and it's a treat to be here today. I, I really want to thank Abby, Noss, and the, and the Vista Guild, the city, the county, everybody coming together. We, we try to do this annually, not that we have to remind ourselves how important small business are, but it's a week to celebrate. And uh, you know, small businesses make up 99.4% of all businesses in South Carolina. I mean, truly, Derek said it, we also, small business is the backbone uh, of each community, and without small businesses, we would be failing. Uh, big businesses obviously do a lot for our state, no doubt about it, but creating jobs, creating wealth, all starts with small business. You know, we at the Chamber have been around since 1902, trying to help and promote small businesses. Did I say 1902 has been a long time, but uh, we, we've been at it. Businesses like Farmers Market Exchange are what gives color and vibrancies to any uh, to a downtown. Is this space not awesome? It really is kind of cool. Yeah. 
what I love is not only did they find a niche, right, that uh, promoting healthy living, healthy eating, but they give opportunity for smaller businesses as well to, to bring their goods and services here. Martha's Mena Cheese right over here. Martha, try that pimento cheese, great business. But anyway, this, this co-op, if you will, is the opportunity to, to shine not only on the Farmers Market Exchange, but also other small businesses in the community, which is awesome. This started uh, with Tom Creek's Family Farm, which was established in 2018. Today, the farm has grown to include various products such as fresh greens, vegetables, fruits, poultry, oil, and more. They opened the site in the Vista to be able to provide produce to all of their customers, not just out in Lower Richland. One of the cooler things is uh, they, besides the fresh bread and the food and the sandwiches and the coffee that smells delicious, uh, they recently opened Tom's Creek Family Farms Mobile Market. Which, let me make sure I said that right. Tom's Creek Family Farms Mobile Market that will serve the 29203 uh, and 29204 areas. If you think of the food deserts, I mean, they are finding a market that is needed and they serve in a, a population that needs healthy food. So congratulations to y'all for that. Uh, the mobile market accepts cash, cards, SNAP, healthy bucks and market vouchers that will, will provide fresh produce, proteins, dairy and more. So we are fortunate to have them here. We're very grateful that they opened their doors for us today. So thank you very, very much. Um, so let us do this. At this time, we'll invite Dr. Hickman and uh, Larry Schneeberger and family to the formal ribbon cutting. And then, uh, and then we'll have some more words after this. But let's cut this ribbon if you don't mind. Congratulations, that's awesome. Um, all right, at this time, I, I forgot, I failed to recognize a couple people. Uh, we've got a good group from the chamber here, a lot of our volunteers and support. We've got Adam Jones, chair of our small business committee here, and um, uh, Karen Jenkins, our chair, will speak in a minute. We want to recognize Karen. Um, we started a program back couple of years ago and just to recognize small business and get small businesses engaged with the chamber and other businesses around town and we call it this chamber small business champion program and we're excited that this year we're fortunate enough to have uh, Palmetto Citizens Federal Credit Union sponsor this program for us so we at this time I'd like to invite Robert Dozier up on behalf of Palmetto Citizens Federal Credit Union to recognize some New small companies. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Carl. Um, I thought I was going to miss my cue because I was trying to figure out what I was having for dinner tonight um, <laughs> from these gorgeous uh, produce right behind me. Um, we are so proud to partner with the chamber in this important endeavor. Um, small business is real, small business makes a difference, and we like to tell our story as an example. So, 88 years ago, Palmetto Citizens started in the bottom of Columbia High School when 10 educators put together $5 a piece to create a $50 financial institution. 88 years later, we're $1.3 billion. We're 315 of the finest individuals in the Midlands of South Carolina taking care of 83,000 of our shareholder members. To us, that's a story, and Columbia is set because of the work the Chamber does in this great community to take all small businesses and we can support and grow one deal, one transaction, one love at a time. So with that, I'm gonna introduce Emily Lewis, our Director of Community Relations, who's gonna announce our partnership winners. Thank you so much. We're so excited to be a part of this program. Um, here are the winners for 2024. Williams and McCall Consulting, The Balloon Squad, Steve German Photography, The Donut Guy, Postal Plus Experts, 
So if you see me right after, I'll introduce you to your Palmetto Citizens Mentor so we can get this thing started. So congratulations to everyone again. Great, thank you to that. Hey, Pops, I forgot to call on you. I so apologize. I, I ran right over. Uh, thanks for letting us be here. We're so excited. I know you had a few things to say, so will you welcome everybody? Uh, uh, <laughs> welcome. There we go. Welcome, everybody. So great to be here and so wonderful for you showing up. And thank you, Chamber and the city and the county and the council people, <laughs> all of you. But um, it's a great pleasure to be in your presence and be able to promote our work. It's a hard business in the sense that we follow orders of our children, my daughters and my wife. Uh, my oldest daughter, who's not here, she is at the farm, probably chasing the bull or the goats that is <laughs> run away. But it's a collective effort of the woman that brings us here in your presence in reality. Us guys, you know, we're machos. We can do anything. We like to do anything. And we talk, basically. So it's so wonderful to have you here. And hopefully, we see you always here. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you for your hospitality. And then to wrap us up, I'm going to call on Karen Jenkins, the chair of the chamber for 2024. Karen. Is it still morning? Good morning. Good morning. I am so excited to be here. This is Small Business Week, and this is a great way to do the kickoff for a fabulous week that's ahead for our small business community. I'm going to tell you personally that Columbia, South Carolina, and South Carolina period is the, bless, the best place to open a small business. We celebrated our 16 year anniversary on the 9th of this month. And we did that not by ourselves, but by being a member of the chamber, by getting support from the Office of Business Opportunity from both the Columbia, uh, City of Columbia and the uh, Richland County Office of Business Opportunities, from small business development centers. I tell you, that for me, one of the biggest lessons that I learned was that proximity is power. And you can be working in your business or in your business when you need to be working on your business. And you work on your business by being in venues like this, where you can look at other small businesses and support other businesses. So I'm going to expect that this is not going to be the last time that we come to this venue, right? We're going to tell everybody else about it, right? And then I'm going to also recommend that you look at other businesses in this room and that you go around and you say, oh, what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? One of the things that we have in our ecosystem is the opportunity to serve each other. So as we grow, I believe that a rising tide raises all ships, right? So we're going to do that thing together. But in there, I think there's some things I'm supposed to be saying. <laughs> um, <laughs> I am Karen Jenkins, the current chair of the Columbia Chamber of Commerce. I'm also a small business owner. KRJ Consulting, actually, I'm supposed to be down at the convention center right now at a trade show, but I have a teammate handling that for me. Um, but as the chair, this has been a phenomenal ride to watch and see what's happening in our community, especially with the small businesses and the business as a whole. I want to congratulate our five small businesses that were chosen to participate in this program and definitely to thank Palmetto Citizens for sponsoring this tremendous opportunity. For those of you who want to stay connected, because what did I say? Proximity is power. Let me say it again. Proximity is power. I'm going to give you some power and invite you to come out and participate with us because we host um, in the Midlands, our small business breakout happens every fourth Tuesday of the month. And that is sponsored or supported by our partner engagement. So please participate, come out. Shameless plug, small businesses, big businesses. If you're not a member of the chamber, I need, where's Amy? I need you to see Amy, right? Because I'm telling you, there are things happening here that you need to have proximity is what? Power. Power. We wanna, um, we also thank you for the opportunity for the city and the county. What I love about this ecosystem is all of the collaboration. So for the city and the county to be here in partnership with the chamber, this doesn't happen in every community. That's why we're special. So thank you guys for being here and for all of your support as we celebrate and spotlight the, um, the businesses and also the Farmers Market Exchange. Congratulations again. I'll leave you with, what I want to leave you with? Oh, 
I'm also serving as the Small Business Committee Chair for the State Chamber. Tomorrow at 10 a.m., I invite you out to the State House. We're going to be on the State House steps. Uh, we're going to have the chair there. Uh, we're going to have the governor there. We're going to have the Senate president, and we're going to have the House president. Anyway, a lot of people. And proximity is what? So you might make some other connections, and we might be able to recruit some more people to come into the Columbia Chamber of Commerce, I'm just saying. Um, but again, thank you to our SBA. Where are my SBA partners, Greg and, and Angela? L love you guys. I'm a graduated 8A, so all the support that you guys gave me there. Again, to the Office of Business Opportunity, the Columbia Chamber, to the county. Thank you all for being here. I'm so excited and so hyped. So there are other events, the city's event. I'm speaking on a panel, right? Yes. Pam and I on Wednesday. So y'all come out and hear what I don't have to say. And uh, <laughs> what else? Did I miss anything, Carl? Thank you, and this guy. Thank you. Oh, I will never, ever, ever come and hit this mic and not do this one thing. I have to thank our staff at the Columbia Chamber of Commerce. This group has been phenomenal in putting together every event that I've participated in, and every time I get a microphone, I'm gonna shout y'all shout y'all out because y'all just make my life easier. Anyway, thank y'all. Y'all have a wonderful day, and let us know if there's anything we can do to support you. Thank you. Thank y'all very much for being here. Enjoy, find some good stuff to take home with you. Um, Larry, can you come up real quick? <laughs> I know you wanted to make an announcement about the partnership with the mobile market and Palmetto Citizens, but then also any specials that you have going on and for people to partake in the goodness of the store. Sue, come on up. I'm going to call her out. This is my wonderful bank manager at Palmetto Citizens. Palmetto Citizens is the first corporate sponsor for the mobile market trailer. I appreciate it. Um, we're going to do another event at one of the sites. We're going to get you out there with the news. Uh, specials, 10% off the store, right? Pops, 20% off baked goods. Everything else. And I will let you know at 4 o'clock this morning that squash, zucchini, and broccoli was cut out of the greenhouse, and I have a picture to prove it. <laughs> okay? Thank you all for coming. <laughs>